So Liz, can you talk me through the onboarding process at Gorringe? Yes. So the initial stages are after a initial conversation has happened with the client and we've established um, what services required and what fees are going to be charged. Um, then we send out a letter of engagement through our system called Practice Ignition. So that gets emailed directly to the client with um, a link to PI, uh, where they can go on and view the engagement, um, which lists all the services and the fees that will be applied and how the fees are going to be taken. Um, and then they agree to the letter of engagement by signing it and dating it at the end. Um, and then that is uh, sent back to us as a, a copy for our records. Once that's happened, then uh, an email is sent to the client with a link to our new client questionnaire. And on the new client questionnaire, it's basically just a gathering of information um, about the company and about the individual uh, so that we have all the relevant reference numbers um, and uh, information that we need to apply for various authorizations. So then that would take us on to the next part where we would the authorizations through the HMRC portal so that we are able to view the client's information on the system uh, and as well as adding them onto all of our various trackers so that the accounts, accountants can keep up to date with what needs to be done when. If the client has had a previous, so they're coming to us from a previous accountancy firm, then we uh, request professional clearance from that accountant. Um, so that we get copies of their latest accounts, etc., um, and we get um, a lot more background from the client about the client. Then the next stage would be to collect our AML. So with AML, it's basically anti-money laundering um, process that we have to follow. And for that, we need from the client uh, a copy of their passport or driving license, so basically photo ID and a utility bill, um, so that we can confirm their address uh, and then we do our various checks um, got bankruptcy checks and so on etc and then the actual account manager would do a risk-based form um, on that client and and then after that we do an introduction to the account manager so each of our clients would be assigned a designated account manager who would look after that client so we would do an introduction and then the account manager would arrange uh, a meeting to introduce themselves and go through uh, the basics of what's required and what we need and what's um, important to the client and just have basically an information gathering um, meeting and um, and that's pretty much it and that's that the sort of uh, auditing process finished and then it just goes over to the account manager to continue to, to run the accounts and services that are being provided.